Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm so glad that you decided to stop by. If you've been here before, thank you so much for returning. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, today I'm going to be doing a Lowe's plant tour. Um, I had a blast doing it. I really enjoyed myself and I hope that you do enjoy it as well. Um, and just know that there will be a plant haul coming after this video. So definitely look out for that. But again, sit back, relax, enjoy the video. Thanks. All right, guys, here we go. So right here we have some um, Sansevierias. We also have some Dracaenas which are absolutely cute. We have a little fern there. We have another uh, Dracaena, also some Peperomias. These are adorable, adorable. And another Dracaena there, okay. And we're making our way around and it looks like we have, um, I think that's called a snowflake Dracaena there to the right. And then looks like there is um okay so then we have a peace lily here which they look extremely healthy they always look really healthy really easy to grow just make sure well the thing is they'll let you know when they need water they will definitely let you know okay and then we have an alligator fern here absolutely cute this one I was having a tough time with. I was looking at like, ah, oh no. Should I or shouldn't I? That green is so pretty. Honestly, like that green, like I, I think that's one of my favorite colors. I, go figure. Um, but okay, so Looks like we have a Calancho there. Okay, and then here we are. We have some Sansevierias, um, some, um, another Dracaena there, looks like. Um, we also have some Peperomias here. Very nice variegation. And then look, oh, look at these little figurines. Oh my gosh, they are so, so adorable. That Sansevieria hiding back there, another Peace Lily. Oh, a sago palm, and then we're making our way over. There's an abundance of sago palms there. They were amazing. Healthy, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous and healthy. And one thing you want to keep in mind about these, though, is that they are noxious. Um, they are very poisonous to pests, pets. So um, that's why I... Um, didn't get one because of my dog. So yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous and I'm always on the fence with it, but you know, if, it, if it's noxious, it's just like, it's a concern for me, but they are beautiful. Very robust looking there, definitely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, very nice, very nice. Um, and then we're moving on here. It looks like, oh, okay, we have a Birkin. Have a Birkin. You remember how rare these were before to even find one? Now they're everywhere. There's Birkins everywhere. Everywhere you go. Okay, and then we have the um, Pylea here. Are they cute? Aren't they adorable? I love how they grow and how they how they stand up. Like I just love how they grow and how they they push off new offspring. It's really cool to watch that, you know, um, when they are in their prime growing conditions. Definitely, and the price was right. So you see, I was having a hard time with these as well. So, um, it looks like we had some begonias there. And then here we have a waffle plant. This is a purple one. Um, they also have pink ones. I didn't see any that 
when I was there. Um, this is a, a coffee plant. Um, you won't get any coffee beans from this, but they are very nice to look at and they can grow pretty big. Um, the Dyfumbachia here. Um, they can definitely grow pretty big again in the right conditions. So um, where Dracaena is. Dracaena is everywhere. Some more Dracaena. They're everywhere. All different types of species. If I'm saying that correctly. Alright. And then we're moving on over here to they had like some amazing arrangements um their arrangements they had like the dracenas um <clears throat> in in the same pot with like the pothos as you can see here and then you would get a um you see there there's a brazil there there's a brazil there along with a dracena Very nice, very nice. More Dracaenas here. That umbrella plant, I never have luck with those. I don't think I have the right conditions here. Um, but here we are. We have a Calathea, a Neon Pothos, and also a uh, Sansevieria snake plant in the same pot. So, which is really nice because you get three different varieties there. And these are pretty hardy plants also, you know. Um, all together so you can't really go wrong with that that selection uh, and here's a, another one here you know it's like a little darker the color scheme how they did it but basically the same that you have like the dracaena as opposed to the pothos there um, but you also have the calathea um, I think that's a medallion calathea there in that pot so um, yeah all right and then we have the superstar this is the zz raven as opposed to the zz that we are used to seeing the green one this is a deeper colored uh zz plant at the raven and as you can see it is really healthy there are some babies and then moving right along here we have the uh fiddly fig and try and ignore the leaf <laughs> in my hand that's coming in the frame that's um you know i'm trying to balance um my my plant here something that i was kind of checking out um so it's my the friendship plant and then here these were absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous the sterling silver skin dapsis those are really nice very very nice love those love those love those aren't they pretty very healthy very strong plants there so all right and then here we are we're moving over to the alocasias okay and we have it like two different varieties there we have one that is um the darker one very pretty and then we also have the more the green one and then hiding behind there, as you can see, we have um, Monstera and also some more fiddly figs. And then there's also some Dracaenas there. Um, but I just want to draw your attention to the size of the leaves on these plants. Honestly, there is like, oh, and there's a, a ZZ plant. Look at the size of that ZZ plant. I'm telling you what, during quarantine, I mean, they must have been locked away. And, you know, the question is, what were they feeding them? Because they must have been in prime condition wherever they were. Because these plants are humongous and healthy and absolutely gorgeous. They are stunning. Uh, so yeah you need to just get out and check them out and then there's this little friendship plant you know it, it just i was nostalgic of pre um quarantine when you these were in abundance and i was so happy to see it it's like there's a light at the end of the tunnel so crazy um but thanks for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed and of course there is a plant haul coming from my visit and thank you